Hi friends, in this video, let us solve problems related to common source amplifier. Right, sorry, common line amplifier. The question is for the circuit shown in figure, find voltage gain and output resistance. So, first we have to identify what is the configuration. You see the output is taken across source. This is gate, this is train, this is source. Since output is taken across this across source, then it is common gate, sorry, common train amplifier, right? Okay, so if you have any doubt, please refer my video on common train amplifier, right? Before solving this problem, kindly refer my video on common train amplifier. Okay, what are the details given? We have to assume lambda is equal to 0 0.01 per volt, that is, we have to take channel length modulation effect. If you are taking channel length modulation effect, we have to include RO in the equivalent circuit. So that is very important. So those who have any doubt, please refer my video on channel length modulation. VGS is given, threshold voltage VT is given, KN is given. Right? So what is the voltage gain equation for uh, common drain amplifier? It is GM RS parallel RO divided by 1 plus gm rs parallel r so we have to find all the parameters so what is gm we know for gm the formula is 2k vgs minus vt everything is derived already and i have put a video on that so kindly refer that so 2k 2 into k they have given it is 8 milliampere per volt square. VT, VGS is 2.5. VT is 1.5. So GM is equal to 16 milliampere per volt. Let us assume this is 1, this is 2. GM we found. Then RO we have to find. RO is equal to 1 by lambda ID. So lambda they have given. Lambda is 0 0.01. That's what we have to assume. ID whether they have given. Let us see. Lambda is 0.01 ID. You see this drain terminal, the current flowing through this drain terminal is ID. So that is 8 milliamps. Okay, so 8. So if you simplify what you get is 12.5 kilo ohm. It is equation number 3. So GM we found, R0 we found. So RS, what is RS? This is our RS. So RS is 1 kilo ohm. So let us assume this is equation number 4. So we have to substitute 2, 3, 4 in 1. So substitute 2, 3 and 4 in 1. We get AB is equal to 0 0.92. Right? So already we know that in common source amplifier gain must be less than 1. So that is proven here. Right? Okay. Next what they asked for, they have asked for output resistance. For common source amplifier, Output resistance is required to 1 by GM parallel RO parallel RS. Every data we have, right? So GM we have, RO we have, RS we know. So again we have to substitute 2, 3, 4. So substitute 2, 3, 4 here. Let us assume equation number 5. So in 5, if we substitute RO, we get is 58.54. So the output difference of common drain amplifier is low, right? But the input difference, they didn't ask that, the input difference is infinity. So ideally, it is infinity for common drain amplifier. But here we have biasing resistor R1 and R2. So you see, this is R1, 190K, this is R2, 470K. Though they didn't ask I do that, so what is ideally it is infinity for common drain amplifier very very high but practically we have bias resistor they will introduce a impedance finite impedance that is r1 parallel r2 so if you take r1 parallel r2 it will be 130.1 kilo so this is input impedance okay and the next problem is for the circuit shown in figure, find the GM transconductors. So they have given some circuit. Let us see what is the circuit. Here you see the output is taken across source terminal because this is source, this is gate, this is train. 
the output is taken across source terminal so it is a source follower right so that is the main thing we have to know so source follower we have we have what we have to find we have to find a gm let us see so here what is this the 20 volt 20 volt is equal to right so this is the total drop what is the drop here here it is source terminal this is id there we have. so this is the drain current because current flowing through the drain so the same current flows here in yeah, MOSFET, you know, in MOSFET ID is equal to IS because IG is zero. So the same current will flow here. So that drop is 20 volt is equal to ID RS plus this drop VSD. So it is 8 volt. So from there we can find what is our RS. RS equal to 20 minus 8 divided by ID. ID is nothing but 2 milliamps. So if we simplify, we will get 6K. So R as we found. What they ask is GM. You know what is the uh, equation for GM? So we have to find the GM. So from voltage gain, we can find the GM. You see in the question, they are given lambda is equal to zero. That is no channel length modulation. No channel length modulation means RO is infinity. That is open. So we can neglect R O is infinity, so open. So A V will become for uh, MOSFET G M. Actually, it is R S parallel R O will come, but here R O is infinity, so we can neglect G M R S divided by one plus G M R S. So A V they are given. What is A V value? A V is 0.9. So it is 0.9. Then it is equal to G M. Just now R S we have we have to find G M. RS is 6A, right? So into sorry here, RI divided by RI plus RS. GM into 6K divided by 1 plus GM into 6K. What is RI? This is RI, right? So where is RI is the given? I think R1 parallel R2 is RI. So this is RI and this is RSI. So R I is 40k, R S I is 2k. 40 divided by 40 plus 2. So if we simplify GM is 2.86 milliampere per volt. So that's all about the session. If you have any doubt, please ask me in the comment section. Thank you.